Hi everyone, today we're going to be doing a silver, a purple and slightly pinky purple look. I really hope you enjoy, I've done one eye to save time. Quick, quick and a bit of a flick with a bit of black eyeliner. So off we go, first I'm going to prime the eye and I'm just using the Estee Lauder Ivory Lace. We'll stick that all over the eyelid, get it right up to the eyebrow bone because we're coming right up and out. So kind of come right round here, you want to just hold a lot. The good thing about this is it's got like a shimmer to it, so it'll help the eyeshadows you use intensify and it adds a bit of shimmer, which is always good. So I'll just stick a little bit of that on. I want a nice shimmer base. I don't want a matte look today. So now we're going to take our eyeshadow brush. And I'm using, where's it gone? I'm just going to put it down, which is not a good idea around here, but I have anyway. Is that the one I was using? That'll do. Okay, I'm using Pink Opal by MAC and it's pigment. And I'm just, there's the tile cutter again, I'm sorry. I'm just going to gently pat on all the way underneath the eyebrow bone, like that. Sorry, get this in. We're just going around like in that shape, so you're following the whole direction. Bring it down and along, so it won't come in harm. And bring it out around here as well because we're going to have a, a nice scattering of colour. Okay, now that you've done that, we're going to take silver, and I'm using L'Oreal's Hip Platinum Silver one. Get that on, nice coating, stick it all over the eyelid. Just getting it on fast because I'm probably going to go over time again. But stick that on. Nice, nice coating of that there, look. Get that right on. And then just gently, just blend it back and forth. Don't need to blend much right now because we're going to be putting that colour on. So just come down a little way. And then once you've done that, I'm going to take a blender brush and I'm going to blend a little bit of Turkish Night, which is out of the Fierce Violet palette and I'm going to put a little bit of that on the outer corner. You don't want too much, it's very dark. And then just gently in the shape of a tri like, triangle, Put it on on the outer corner like that. I'm gonna zoom you in quick, quick, quick. There you are. That's as far as it go. I'll try and remember that. So you've got your fierce violets, Turkish night, and I'm gonna stick that on the outer corner like that. I'm just gonna blend it up and out. So you're going in like a triangle shape. Oi, it's enough. Dogs are licking their privates behind me and it sounds absolutely rotten. It's actually better than that though, isn't it? I'm going to keep going. And then when you've got it on, just blend it up and over. So three quarters, about a quarter of the way in. And then we're just going to keep bringing this up. See how it's subtle but it's starting to create a shadow on the outer corner and we'll get a bit more stick it on in there bit more just to darken it out a bit
there you have it nice blended effect now the lighting's a bit funny in here so it looks like it's going up in streaks but it's not it's all blended in you'll see in the photos but i've got a bit here which i'm just going to get rid of because we're going to put some other color on there so then take your brush and just blend it down underneath as well And then we're going to go dipping into some pink. This is the fun part. What have I got on that brush? Some silver. Now where's my pink brush? This will have to do. This is what I'm using. Pink, pink. You ready? It's out of the Manly palette and look at the state of it. It's completely crashed. Because I carry this about in a big metal, metal case. And it's just smashed all over the place. But we're using... No, I'm sorry, it's not a pink, it's a purple, but it looks pink, that's it. So dry that brush off, dip into the purple, get rid of that, and you want a little bit on the end of your brush. So just pull your light eyelid down, and just gently roll back and forwards. You can even shove a little bit into the end of there. Like that, so it really darkens out a corner out. And then we're going to bring it along. Then blend again. Just to blend this out. Then we're going to take liner, black liner. This is my favourite one but I'm running out. So tip your head back and just line under this area here. It's called tight lining. And when you do it, it gives a nice effect on the outer corner. And then we're going to do the bottom as well by your waterline. So get that on there as well. When you get to the outer corner, you want to thicken it out a little bit. Because we're going to be doing some liner there and we want it to match. So do that. And then we're going to take... Where is my liner? There it is. Liquid liner by Sephora. And I'm just going to grab it for quickness because I don't have any of my eyeliner brushes and I don't know where they've gone. Because I like using mine but I can't at the moment. And what I like to do is steady my little finger halfway And then match it up. Like that. And then on the bottom, take the same. You don't need any more, any more liquid on it. Where you made that thicker line, you're going to bring it out. Now take some mascara quick, get that on, because I have a feeling we're going to run out of time at this rate. Tip your head back and give your lashes a good coat from root to tip. Wiggle your head if you need to. It's going to be in the privacy of your own room, so it doesn't matter. Wiggle your head or open your mouth. Anything you need to do to get it on, give your lashes a really good coating. Then what I'm going to do is, quickly with the same brush I've been using, tiny bit more pigment, 
pink pink opal sorry just gently on the inner corner and it just brightens it up a bit for you now let's get the brows on I have a feeling I'm running out of time but I'm using Paula Dorf again and I'm gonna check some other brow stuff out because that's what I'd like to find out about there's lots of different brow products out there that I'd like to give a go at but anyway I'm just sticking this on I'm not putting a flat to the skin or it'll go onto the skin and make it look a bit silly you want to just tease the hair then for the blush, blush I know I'm going to go over in time I'm using sepia rose which is that one there it's out the fierce violets gentle you don't need much it's heavy just gently just gently 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 swirl just on the cheekbones and back into the hairline and you've got a nice pink glow then for the lips let's get the colour gone with some elf lip product primer stick that on That just neutralises your lip colour because mine are pretty pigmented and then, then they won't show up, they won't let the lipstick show up properly. Stick a bit of this on, it's new draws by MAC, I'm using a lot of it because I'm absolutely loving it. And then I'm using Tarte and it's lip gloss by Tarte and I don't know the name but, but they come in a little set and they're gorgeous. There you go, there you have it. A nice silver, purple, dark purple, pink kind of makeup look. Really, really hope you've enjoyed this one. Whoops, dropping the bits here. If you've got any more requests, send them or follow us on Twitter, Panacea81. You'll find us. Zoom, zoom. <laughs>